Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition, where we last left off. We went around Skyhold, talking to people and getting their take on what's happened in the finishing of Corypheus. And then we also helped Dagna with some problems with hers. But, we are now going to do the, the DLC. Um, You're doing it again. Oh, I do apologize. Now that's going to be in my head all day. Yes, please stop. Right, attend the Exalted Council. Warning, beginning the Exalted Council will lock off all other areas and plots and jump to 944 Dragon, two years after the death of Corypheus. There is no going back from this point. With Corypheus dead and the threat of the Fade Rifts and Demon's White One Eat waning, both Orle and Ferelden have begun to raise questions about the future of the Inquisition. Divine Victoria has promised to shield the Inquisition from political matters for as long as possible. Eventually she plans to call the Exalted Council, a chance to determine the role and possibly the fate of the Inquisition. Recommended levels 20 or higher. So if we do this, essentially the game is over. If you squint, Lake Callanhad is shaped like a bunny. Uh, perhaps we should take a... Oh, I think I see it. So, yeah, if we do this, it'll be the end. And then that'll be it. Hmm. I've done every quest, I think. Everything's been done. The only thing left to do is just to do this part, so... Let's do it. Divine Victoria will not call the Exalted Town Council until you are ready, Inquisitor. The Exalted Council will be held at the Winter Palace outside Halam Sharal, thanks to Divine Victoria's negotiation with the Ambassadors. We are ready to depart at your convenience. Forth. Let's do this. I'm ready to face the music. If it's been two years, and I'm surprised it's been two years to get rid of all the demons, but then again, it was a pretty bad situation, so I guess I can see that. But back onto the thing itself. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how things went from there. Hopefully, uh, good stuff. Who knows? Maybe we had a son or a daughter or something. I don't know. It'd be cool if we did, but. Hopefully it's going to be good. I'm wearing the Nutcracker outfit again. Another parade, another bloody negotiation. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Orlay from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orle would control us, and based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. Huh. Our real concern is Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. Well, we saved the world and they want us to just... They want to control us and everything. It's like, what the fuck? We're our own people. We're an independent city-state. Why do we have to do whatever you want? We're literally in the middle of both of these countries. Probably in an area that's not even controlled by them. Ah. <sighs> If only we were a floating castle or something, a floating continent, we could have our own stuff, but nope.
But it's kind of obvious that Liliana wouldn't be there, seeing as she's the actual Divine Victoria now, so... Things. There's no one here. Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years Where'd have your been hat kind go? to you. How have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empreise du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. Huh. Corypheus left a great deal of damage for us to repair. I appreciate your efforts. And I yours, your worship. I should mention that your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron Deschedin. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden Ambassador's concerns. You can probably just call her Liliana in private conversation. You can, Inquisitor. I prefer to use her divine name. Our last divine once joked about why I insisted upon calling her Justinia. She called it my way of reassuring her that I had not completely forgotten who was in charge. <laughs> How do you think Divine Victoria has done these last two years? It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. With respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. Victoria has proven adept at winning allies with both her intelligence and her faith. It is a blessing in these trying times. We are lucky to have her. Good. I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The Divine sees the good that you can do and have done. Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Olay. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinta Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. Me too. The Imperium sent an ambassador? Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. Hmm. It will be good to see him again. I owe him my apology. I allowed my distrust of Divinta to cloud my judgment. He took a great risk coming to help us, and deserved better treatment. You're going to apologize? To Dorian? I have little patience for those who cannot admit they were wrong, Your Worship. Myself included. I will have to make my apologies somewhere public. He will want an audience for his reaction. Who is returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras. For one, I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. I believe Sir Blackwall has returned as well, although he now uses the name Tom the Ranier. Enjoy time with them while you can, Your Worship. I doubt you will have the chance once the Exalted Council is underway. All right. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This Exalted Council... Thoreldon would have the Inquisition disband. Olay sees its power as another feather in a chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? disband I agree we're not going anywhere our work is done well this and this looks like the same option but this is probably using this the thing that we know that because Giselle said that the old Inquisition disbanded and she would think the same thing so let's do that you once told me about the first Inquisition that took place 800 years ago you said that when their battle was over that Inquisition soldiers sheathed their swords and went home if our battle is truly over, perhaps it's time for us to do the same. Thank you. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer. Alright.
turn to talk to people. Get a feel for the last two years. Ambassador, for own ambassador, optional catch up for old friends. I can do that. I can certainly do that, but I'm going to save. I'm going to save over this one. Uh oh. Just good sense. What the Reldon would try their wits here. Isn't that red bearded one with the same cut to Celine's coronet? Derek. The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Of course he did. Just put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchants Guild. And the Captain of the City Guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. Inquisitor! Andraste's ass, am I ever glad to see you? Hey. Am I interrupting something important? Yes. Which is perfect, because Bran here needed a break. Uh, this is Bran Caven. Until recently, he was the Viscount... Provisional Viscount. Oh. Of Kirkwall. You're the guy from before. In the second game, I remember. And what are you doing now? I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. Really? You're the Viscount of Kirkwall now? Well, it seems the two of you have a great deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? So, it turns out you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city-state, the nobles give you the worst job they can think of. Huh. That's fantastic. You'll make an excellent Viscount. I think the nobility figured, after Dumar and Perrin, What's the worst that could happen if we put the dwarf in charge? They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got underway. I got you a sort of present. It's official recognition of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a contest now. Wait, You really? can't actually do that without... Too late! Already did it. <laughs> also, your mercenary company, the Valokas, they work for Kirkwall now. I just know my guard captain will love the Shokrakar. Guard <laughs> Captain Aveline has been to my office 11 times in the last week to complain. <clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? <sighs> <laughs> this is possibly too much, Varric. I don't know what to say. That's nothing. Practically nothing. Don't mention it. Oh, that reminds me. It's the key to the city. Wh what? You can't give that away without approval from the council and a special ceremony. It... It's just symbolic, anyway. It controls one of the giant chain nets in the harbor. Really? That is so much better than I thought. This operates those giant chains. Can I try it? No. <laughs> I don't know how this council thing is going to end for the Inquisition. But whatever gets decided, you've got a place lined up in Kirkwall if you want it. Also, uh, control of the harbor? No yes. boat shall pass! Anyway, you should meet with the diplomats. And we'll get in a game of Wicked Grace before I go back, though. Right? Damn right. I wouldn't miss it. Don't bet any public buildings this time. If you do, I get I get the merchant guild. I'll be here if you need me. Sure you will. Right, that way leads to people. Hello. Hello. 
bone. Bo bone shaped dog treats baked in a mold. Fancy scroll work and happy looking dogs adorn the sign. Smells faintly of hams and How's it been? excess. Kind of weird, but okay. I want to have a look up here before I go down there. Hello? Hello? Ooh. Ooh. Hello? The first Grand Enchanter. Grand Enchanter Lothri Hardwin was the first mage of the Circle Magi when it was founded in 120 Divine. After Hardwin distinguished herself in the battle during the Second Blight, Emperor Dracon himself endorsed him for the position. From all accounts, the Grand Enchanter performed admirably. For some speculate, Hardwin was a second choice. The Dracon had another mage, was the connections to Inquisitor Meridan in mind for the job. Technically, these debates are based on the half finished letter up to an army captain and the guest list to other party where Emeridan and the party Emperor were in attendance. If any proof it existed, it is likely dust. The idea merits would should be treated as such for scholarship's sake. Another bone. Why am I finding dog bones? I mean, I guess I could eat them, but I'm not a dog. Josephine! It's been quite a day so far, has it not? I've been speaking with representatives from everywhere. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. Okay. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the Council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. Oh, you scheduled a friendly chat. Is this in your daily notes? Three to four o'clock, idle chat with the Inquisitor. Of course not. <clears throat> not precisely. <laughs> the truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Very much so. In all the years you've worked with Orlais, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. True. Perhaps you're right. These meetings and talks don't allow for much leisure time. And then back to Skyhold without a moment's pause to take in where we are. With all that's been happening, I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. And what is this small entertainment? Something to ease our minds. I would very much like to surprise you with the details. Okay. Thank you for thinking of me. I'd be delighted to attend. Splendid. I will arrange things at once. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. A calm night out sounds... Oh, bravo! Bravo! What? Was the woman in gold playing a king? Who was the man in feathers? Oh, it's all very simple. The first actor's mask is determined by... Uh, well, I thought I will it was going to be something, something dramatic happening, guide. but it's just... It's but happening me, now. I thought later. Did you enjoy the performance? That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Truly. That part with the glittery... Oh, and they actually set fire to... Oh, yes, I truly enjoyed it. Then I call tonight a great success. <laughs> oh, look! The encore signal! Why is it like it's just this horror thing that's happened? <laughs> like, oh my god, why? I do hope you recovered from your night at the opera. Any ear ringing should go away in a day or two. Okay. How was this? Cole, in the last few years, Inquisitor, your, su your suggestion regarding the young man Cole was excellent. He displays an uncanny ability to locate missing people. 
when hostile forces held our agent and we feared that we would be and they would be killed if we approached, Cole was able to reach them without being detected. While he has been less useful overall at extracting intelligence, I have learned to trust his instincts about whether a target is trustworthy or a malicious. Prior to your request, I have limited his assistance to rescue operations or attacks on clearly hostile forces. Whatever magic lives in the young man's mind, it would be poorly served by the less pleasant necessities of our work. His remarks about family, while not germane to the mission at hand, were also greatly appreciated. Your charter. Josephine, in the last few years, dear Inquisitor Adar, Commander Cullen has reviewed the soldiers, and I have written and received so many letters from the Legion Corps, our birds practically blew, blot out the sun. We are as prepared for this exalted council as we will ever be. I know this past year has been full of informal meetings. Goodness knows I have attended many myself, but this one will truly test the alliance and friendships we have worked so hard to build. If I may offer you any advice, is this. Keep a smile ready, and remember we have the attention because we are to be reckoned with. Ambassador Montpellier. Liliana! Inquisitor, thank you for so much for your kind inquiries. I am doing very well, although I have been quite busy selecting new staff for my apartments at the Gr Grand Cathedral has taken me so much longer than expected, and if you wouldn't mind, I would like to borrow Scout Harding for a few weeks to help me find more nugs. I cannot possibly hire anyone to a permanent position without first observing them in a room full of baby nugs, and all the litters I have on hand are nearly full grown. In any case, I will see you soon at Ham Sherelle. Okay, she's, she's gone insane, because she wants so many damn nugs. It's like... What the fuck? <laughs> and this is crumpled silk napkin. Uh, there's so many smudged by wearing stains. The only ones still reachable are there was once a man from Hosburg. Well then. So Cole, Liliana, and Josephine. What about Cullen? Oh, we found him drunk in the side apart again. He was annoying the female attendants. Let me in, or I will destroy you. Uh, can I sit up here? Hello. Don't mind me. I've just come to steal some bones, I guess. More dog treats. Hard in High Town, Chapter 10. You can pause and read this. I'm not going to. All right. Yeah. Try them out. All right. Let's go to the right. Because of these souls we Okay. Can I speak to you? No. Uh, this is a statue of Mathraf, probably. Ooh, a book. Hard and High Time, Chapter 12. Again, you can pause and read this. Do, 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 do. So, listening, sort of a Syrian. Okay. Hello? Black wall. That seems kind of weak. Fashionably late. I thought you weren't going to show. <laughs> I gave you my word we would talk, and I never break my word. Easy there. I was just teasing. So okay. tell me everything that happened while I was away. And after the betrayal, and what I put those men through, my sorries were worth about as much as shit. Huh. How many people hit you? I lost count at twelve, but I could take a punch. They needed to know that there's a way to come back from anything. And I wanted to help them if I could. I thought going up there on the gallows was difficult. This was worse. A hundred times worse. Anyway, it's nice to be back. Though I'm not sure what to think of this council. No matter what, 
You know you can always count on my sword arm and my friendship. All right. He missed. Let me try. Your aim is atrocious. I'm embarrassed for you. Think you can do better? Yeah. Inquisitor. Oh, okay. Black War in the last few years. Inquisitor, I hope this letter finds you well. I apologize for my prolonged absence. I've traced the whereabouts of one or more of my former company. I'm writing to you from Kirkwall, where he now resides. I knew him as Private Nicholas Laurie. He goes by Klaus now. Unlike so many of the men I betrayed, Klaus found a way to put his life together without turning to crime. It doesn't in any way lessen the horror of what I did, but it was complete comforting to see at least one life was not completely ruined by my actions. Klaus is married to a lovely lady. They run a small bakery. It didn't take him long for recognition to dawn, and then I had two mince pies lobbed at my head. Pies that were fresh from the oven, mind you. It was a good thing I ducked. I made my apologies even after months of searching and making preparations. It was still hard. To his credit, Klaus allowed me to talk, and we ended up ended the visit with ales at the hangman I should return within the month thank you for allowing me this time no problem all right I've got to head inside so I need to go this way oh oh I can buy things oh oh that's it okay then oh boy there's loads of shells Landris, bunch of stuff. Another dog bone, another dog bone. You have like a ton of stuff. Huh. Merchant. You're not gonna say anything to me? I am the Inquisitor. Pay attention to me, damn it! <laughs> oh. Okay, never mind then. I don't care. It's not as though I wanted to do anything. Oh, another golden nug. Oh, wow. We've got a lot of stuff here. Turn in research. Craft armor. Modify. Modify. Alright then, I guess this is like the special. Ooh. Pair of paddles. Okay. Now it's hitting the building across. Coal! Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Did you know that a merchant in the courtyard is selling gemstones the same color as your eyes? What an odd thing to say. Hmm, I must see this for myself. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the help getting him elsewhere. I still don't understand Orlesians and their masks, but it makes him happy. And I needed the table. For breadcrumbs? Birds like breadcrumbs. Nom nom. Oh, Cole, good day. I didn't see you there. But I saw you as lovely as your songs. What? 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 I'm pleased for both of you. The world has ample pain, Inquisitor. The kindness found in Cole is rare indeed. Her songs bring happiness to those who hear, and I can make her happy in return. Well then, carry on. <laughs> well, woo! Nice one, Cole. Hello. Well then, that is much better than I thought it would happen. Thought you would end up having to go back to the fade or something. But we're gonna stop here for now. In the next episode, we're gonna keep rocking around, see what's happened in the last two years with everyone else. So until then, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time, and I'll see you next time.
if you like what I do, there's a link in the description to my Patreon. You can go there. And any donations you can make there will be greatly appreciated.